Hey, I thought I'd make a quick room tour because why not? I've been kind of slow with making videos recently because, you know, slow life and it's not like this is a career or anything. It's just a hobby. But I, I still have about, I don't know, 700 people who are subscribed to me, so might as well. Um, here's a little something. Yay. So let's get started with this uh, amazing tour. Um, I, I'm going to start with the least like important stuff and then go on to like uh, the important shelf and crap. So first, uh, this is just a shelf with like books, like drawing books and games and stuff like that. There's dice there for no reason. I don't know why that is, but yeah, there's a globe there. And an inspirational sign that my mother gave me, but you can only read half of it, so like, yeah. There's a rubber dinosaur for whatever reason, just to keep all the very important books, as you can see. Plants vs. Zombies, Five Nights at Freddy's, Bionicle, you know, the important stuff, Minecraft, eat, uh, fine literature, all held on by this. Oh, and there's a cat. I also have a cat. I've left the door closed, but you might want to get out. Uh, actually, not. I don't know. Let me let him out. Never mind. Um, so basically, yeah. There's a. There's a. This is where I usually keep candy because I'm very unhealthy. Uh, there's a bendy thing because why not? And I have some trophies that are completely turned around because you know. I don't want to reveal basically anything about me, including my name, because, you know, anonymousness and, and stuff. But, you know, there's also Lego instruction on the wall that my friend gave me for whatever reason. Uh, why not? Why not? Okay. Yep. Ah, we're moving on, because there's nothing else there. There's some skeleton birds on a, on a box fan, because why not? Uh, I remember I gave them names. I don't... I don't remember what the names are. I remember one's name is Rachel, I think. I think this one's Rachel, and I don't remember the other one. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, there's some nutcrackers. And a, and a sheep bank. But yeah, now we're going to get to the stuff that uh, the, the people watching this will actually care about. Uh, Five Nights at Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, um, never mind Donkey Kong. Here's a very old, like the first ever Donkey Kong plush. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to show that first. Yeah. Uh, next off, this isn't very well lit or well like displayed or anything. Because this is mostly like a storage shelf that I, use, that I keep closed for most of the time for stop motion and stuff. So like extra, like, like the McFarlane sets without the figures. Because they're really hard to display and look good. Got some mystery minis for whatever reason. Like most of my... Funko figures, you'll see the rest soon, uh, but you know, this is where I keep most of them, this is where I keep storage, like stop motion stuff, a random dollar store guy, Fred Bearhead, for whatever reason, some Bionicle mocks and, and stuff like that, but yeah, um, there's the cat again, his name is Mr. Weebly, I did not come up with that name, I am very happy that that is his name though, uh, also sorry about uh, microphone uh, quality. I am recording this on a phone with an iPhone microphone. <sighs> yep. But yeah, I usually keep it closed, you know, to look good and clean and stuff and make my room not look too losery. But because, yeah, you know, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Does it not? Next off, we have this wall full of just whatever. There's a couple spots with not stuff on them because, you know, they have my face or something on it. So I just put them down here. Because, you know, anonymousness and, and stuff. There we go. There's a bag of skulls. I have a picture of my dog. Enderman, a note. Drawings and stuff. Old ones, new ones. Whatever. Lego McDonald's bag. Yep. Bendy, golden, golden, uh, never mind, gone. Yep, Chicken Little's dad that my friend drew in, like, 
what are you doing? This is not a very um balanced video because of this cat. I'm gonna kick him. Okay. So basically, yeah. And and this is where the magic happens. The magic known as um making videos. That's yep. You can see I'm making something. I would have cleaned up before making this, but um just wanted to show you the uh the process. Usually just keep crap on this side. Like the in film right here with a homemade um, Lego uh, phone stand because I'm too cheap to buy one my own. But I have money. I have enough money to buy one. Just don't care. Also, I'm drawing stuff at this moment in time. If you want to see those, um, I don't know. I might make a video. Look at Reddit or something. Uh. Yeah. What now? What now? Oh, we have this. Full of just the weird... St what? Just whatever. Crayola, camera. Just whatever. You can see. Just look. Yellowstone bobblehead. Rubber ducks. I, I don't know. I got, I got nothing to say to this. I have a Scooby-Doo poster. I don't, I don't put stuff in my room based on what I like. I just put stuff in my room. Period. Yeah, uh, there's something I got out of a flea market for like one dollar. So why not? It looks cool. Uh, oh no, first letter of my name reveal. Oh no, oh no, what am I ever gonna do? My anonymous, my, 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 my anonymousness is being revealed. Oh no, uh, I'm sorry for how unfunny and not good this video is. I, there's my nightstand, because... Yep, okay. Got nothing to say to that Minecraft poster with skeletons. And now here's the big... Big, 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 yeah. Big shelf. So the big shelf. It, I will, I will show it from top to bottom, because why not? You know, left to right, like a book. Because my life is a... Is a book. That didn't make sense. So let me start with, uh, with, uh... uh Again, just a shelf of random stuff. Ronald McDonald, there's like half a half a tiny little baby. Um, a Bindi and a Showdown Bandit figure, you know, the cancelled game that no one liked. Um, yeah, that's. I, th I just think that that's neat. That's why I keep it. Also, a misprinted Lego uh, uh, Anua figure. It's, it's only barely misprinted, so you can barely even see here. It's just not as... Um, it's not a saturated and it has a weird speckled look that you can't see, but I assure you it is it is there. So um, uh, next off, uh, talking over Bionicle, a mask that I put on a little stand, Skylanders diamond, whatever, Foxy and a Bob Ross mug. Again, I just put whatever on my shelf. I don't I don't keep my collections neat. I just put whatever looks cool. Sonic, my small little Sonic collection. Um, yeah, movie Sonic, Lego Sonic, classic Sonic, you know, the plushes. Um, here's some uh, custom, like, Lego stuff. A, a very inaccurate Eggmobile that can, like, turn into a robot and stuff. A Metal Sonic that I was really proud of. Looking back, it's not that great, but it's serviceable, and that's what matters. Um, Anyways, Minecraft uh, time. I just put random old Minecraft stuff from like you know the toys I got as a small kid. So why not? I I got this Lego house for Christmas one time. I thought it was cool, so I built it, kept it on my shelf. Why not? I don't buy Lego much anymore, but it still looks cool. I'm still gonna keep it on my shelf. Same with this. I I'm not the biggest Marvel fan, but I mean, why not? It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna keep it. It's a cool set. Why not? And here's like the five main FNAF figures I'm going to keep on a shelf for now. Uh, I don't know why. You know, that one's expensive. That one's just a really good figure, one of their best. I was the only build, buildable figure that I completely completed. There's Funtime Foxy because, you know, it's the closest to a Mangle figure. Mangle's my favorite character, etc., etc. Frostbear because why not? I just thought it was neat. Um, a couple mystery minis I actually like. 
I have only bought four in my life. And the plushes. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I don't have many on a shelf, but I have more in other places. Uh, be jealous. I have Fredbear. The, the, the few hundred dollar, I don't know, 300, 400. I don't know how much it even goes for now. But it's in definitely, certainly in the hundreds. Um, yeah, I, I even have a couple boxed figures. Because, you know, duplicates, Christmas. Christmas duplicates. That's really what they are. Ah, uh, yeah. And it's just my McFarlane figures. A couple of them are really rare. Such as, such as Spring Trap. Entered. Yep. Yeah, I don't really have much to say to this. I just keep them separate from their sets. Because I just think that the figures... Are what people actually care about and nothing else really. Bionicle and Hero Factory. I only have like a few on this main, uh, main mainness. You know, my first Bionicle set, my first my first Lego set in general. These are two that I like always wanted as a ch child, and I went through like a middle life crisis at age twelve, so I so I bought them on eBay. Uh, Lewa, because that's my only my only one from two thousand one. Uh. I have, a, I have a few more uh, down at the bottom shelf, but, you know. Yep, a few more at the bottom shelf, because, yeah. Just, just just some more. There's a canister that I accidentally, that, that I peeled the, the topping off of, but, yep. Also, just a Lego mock that I made. One of the few that I actually think looks good. It's a spaceship based on ice planet and stuff. It's... It's a cargo ship. I think that's cool. There's a bonnie head that I actually like. You know, actually, actually, I, I'm proud of this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I think this looks really cool. And the other cool thing about it, boom, boom. That's, I think, th I just think that's cool. And also, another Lego thing. You know, for someone who doesn't really buy Lego much anymore, I had sure do have a lot. I sure have a lot of my shelf taken up by Lego, don't I? A bunch of Lego books. I don't know. Oh, and also, what's this? I just made a mess. Huh. Well, that's the shelf. That's my room. <laughs> Yay. Great. Now on to part two.